Greetings gaming enthusiasts, and welcome to Insightful Gaming. In this episode, we're showcasing an extraordinary setup starring an off-meta exotic, ready to steal the spotlight in Season 20. The main attraction is the unyielding Skullfort, transforming you into a Thunder God. If you're a fan of close-range combat, revel in annihilating crowds of foes with chaining lightning and, crucially, possess self-healing, an attribute absent in most Arc Titan builds. This setup is tailor-made for you. With this setup, you'll metamorphose into God of Thunder. The unique exotic perk, Transfusion Matrix, initiates health restoration and replenishes melee energy upon defeating enemies with Arc Melee skills. The entire build is designed around this exotic, augmenting your melee prowess to eradicate swarms of adversaries while ensuring infinite melee and grenades. With this setup, you'll seamlessly progress through your damage cycles. Enough small talk. If this electrifying setup has captured your attention, kindly give the video a thumbs up, leave a comment below, and subscribe to our channel for more captivating builds and gaming content. Embrace the power of thunder, and let's forge our path as legendary wielders of lightning, Let's dive into the spellbinding world of our abilities and weapons, where we transform into a force of nature that'll leave opponents quaking in their boots. Are you ready? Let's go. First on the menu, we got Thunder Crash as our super. Picture this. You rocket through the air like a missile, crashing into your enemies with the force of a meteor. Whether you're wiping out entire rooms or dealing a massive blow to bosses and champions, this super is all about making an entrance. Next up, we're strutting our stuff with Thruster as our class ability. But don't worry if barricades are more your style, feel free to switch it up based on your team's needs. For our melee, we're rocking Thunderclap, which when paired with our exotic, can clear rooms or deal serious damage to champions and bosses. And last but not least, we're armed with a pulse grenade. Now, let's talk weapons. You'll want to grab any weapon with the Volt Shot perk. It turns your weapon into a jolting powerhouse after reloading, energizing your target with arc light and chaining lightning to their buddies. Plus, it synergizes beautifully with our build, generating those sweet, sweet ionic charges. And as a bonus, jolt damage can stun overload champions. If you're feeling adventurous, try out the path of the least resistance weapon, complete with the Volt Shot perk. To make it work, swap out your Ion's Fragment for Spark of Beacons. Trust me, it's a blast to play and holds its own in endgame content. We are also using a shotgun equipped with auto-loading holster and the 1-2 punch perk. This dynamic duo is perfect for our build, as it turns your melee attacks into a force to be reckoned with. With this perk, if you blast an enemy with a full round of pellets, your melee damage skyrockets for a short, but exhilarating period. As for your heavy, we recommend a Void Submachine Gun, ensuring you're always stocked up on ammo. Finally, for stats, focus on resilience, followed by discipline, and then spread the love among the rest. Now you're ready to unleash the power of this Lightning Storm build and lead your enemies Thunderstruck. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to dissect the aspects of this electrifying masterpiece. First up, the Touch of Thunder aspect possesses the enchanting ability to transform your pulse grenades into ionic trace generators. With every explosive detonation, they'll spew out ionic traces, increasing damage over time. Our fusion grenades join the fun, ticking twice as fast and producing even more ionic traces. Next, we have Knockout the Crowning Glory. When you critically injure an enemy or shatter their shield, this aspect infuses your melee attacks with arc energy, extending your range and amplifying your damage. Now your thunderclap melee not only heals you courtesy of our exotic, but also deals enhanced damage thanks to knockout. Having explored our aspects, let's delve into the realm of fragments where the excitement escalates. First up is Spark of Resistance. This gem grants you additional resistance to incoming damage when surrounded by foes. It's indispensable as you'll frequently be in close quarters with adversaries. Following that is Spark of Shock, another crucial fragment that enables your arc grenades to zap targets like an unexpected electric handshake. Owing to this enhancement, your grenades will tick twice, stunning your enemies not once, but twice. Subsequently, we have Spark of Ions, which generates an ionic trace whenever you defeat a zapped target. And lastly, we're sporting Spark of Magnitude, which prolongs your lingering arc grenade's duration. In summary, our all-star ensemble of fragments, Spark of Shock, Spark of Ions, and Spark of Magnitude collaborate to make our grenades produce an incredible number of ionic traces, converting them into portable bombs and unbeatable clearing machines. And let's not overlook our reliable companion, Spark of Resistance, which offers much-needed defense with virtually no downsides. Let's now dive into the enthralling world of armor mods. We'll guide you through the best mods, guaranteed to morph your build into an unstoppable force of nature. First up, the helmet. We're sporting one hands-on mod and ashes to assets, 
the ideal duo to help you generate super energy through your melee and grenades like a pro. Next, we're incorporating Harmonic Siphon, turning you into an orb of power producing machine for ultra fast ability regeneration. Onto the gauntlets, we have Fire Power, which assists in creating even more orbs of power. Combine that with Momentum Transfer, which decreases your melee cooldown when you damage foes with a grenade. And let's not overlook Grenade Kickstarter, the vital mod for rapidly regaining your grenade to fuel your melee rampage. For the chest armor, we're opting for defensive mods of your choice, customized to the content you're playing. Now for the boots. We're using stacks on stacks, doubling armor charges every time you collect orbs of power, ideal for our Kickstarter mod. We are also using Recuperation Mon, which restores health each time you pick up an orb of power. And finally, we're using Invigoration, which reduces melee cooldown every time you gather an orb of power. Last but not least, our Titan Mark is equipped the Reaper Mod, rewarding you with an orb of power after every weapon final blow following your class ability. Next, we're using a Bomber Mod, which decreases your grenade cooldown when using your class ability. And finally, we're also using Outreach Mod, reducing melee cooldown when using your class ability. Now let's plunge into our zesty seasonal mods. In the first row, it's all about tailoring your arsenal to your beloved weapon. Submachine Gun Fanatics pop the champagne as the Submachine Overload mod is here to party. For the Scout Rifle Connoisseurs, the Unstoppable Scout Rifle mod will tickle your fancy. Bow Wielders, unleash your inner Robin Hood with the Overlord mod. And to take down those pesky barrier champions, the Anti-Barrier Pulse Rifle and Sidearm mod is your best wingman. But fear not, your subclass can also help you stun those champions. For ARC subclass users, blind or blinding aspects will stun unstoppable champions. Solar subclass users, light him up with ignition damage. Stasis subclass users, put champions on ice with shatter damage. And with the strand subclass, the suspend aspect will stun unstoppable champions. As we boogie on down to the second row of seasonal mods, feast your eyes on the multi-siphon mod combining the effects of Strand Solar and Void Siphon mods. Perfect for when you want to juggle different energy weapons and generate orbs with both types of weapons like a pro. The next four mods cut down the energy costs of your armor mods for Solar, Strand, Void weapons, and grenades. The Solar Surge mod is the real MVP, slashing energy costs from three to just one. In the third row, Shatter Orbs and Volatile Flow are important mods, especially if you are rocking Void weapons in your special or heavy slot. In the fourth row, you can't miss the Bricks from Beyond mod granting heavy ammo for you and your buddies upon defeating powerful combatants with a Void weapon. Finally, in the fifth row the Prismatic Transfer mod is your go-to, giving a bonus to weapon damage for each member of your fire team with a different subclass damage type when you cast your super. If you enjoyed this build and found it helpful, please don't forget to like the video, leave a comment below, and subscribe to our channel for more exciting builds and gaming content. Thanks for watching.